Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing one of the new Seabound Ninjago sets. Um, which has actually been revealed at season 14, which is a bit of uh, confusion. And this is Lloyd's Hydromech set 71750. And let's get straight into it. We'll start with the minifigs. This is Scuba Lloyd. Really cool, I think, these new minifigs. You can see his initial L there. Uh, uh, black flippers, a katana, and this cool piece, and this, I really like that it's like, you know, like an underwater theme, but integrated with, with the ninja head wrap. So I'll take these flippers off, I'll take this out, and I'll just show you the back printing a bit more clearer, and these special pieces. Um... I'll just show you this. This is the front. Really nice. The L there. Cool printing. And here's the back printing. You can see a zip there. And a belt. And then there's some special pieces. There's like this oxygen tank with a front mask thing. And it's also like a belt piece. Which makes your minifig even more secure. And you can slot a katana in there. Just like this. And then there's this like top visor thing with the uh, um, knot, which I think is really cool. How they've just integrated a ninja with an underwater scuba diver. And then you can just put them back together like this. You just put this here. And you put the torso here. You put it down like this. Just attach the head on this mask and then if you want to the flippers it's a really nice minifigure really cool good character to get with this set and this is of course a lloyd vehicle now let's move on to the next one this is like a serpentine a malopian sorry but it looks like serpentine i mean it's supposed to be a snake so this is a mare guard really cool i really like the villains Although there's one type, but I think they're really cool. I really like getting serpentine and snakes type stuff. Here's the front. Here's the back. And then there's this weapon. It's um, it's a new black dragon hilt piece, which we have them in golden. And I think I've seen some white ones somewhere from other series. And then there's a Psy. These really cool uh, cyan flippers. And then the head is the same as those Pyro Whippers from Season 11. And I think it looks really nice with the solid blue. I thought it was going to be a transparent blue, but solid, which I think makes it look really nice. Um, and then here's one of those Season 11 ones, the Hydro Whipper. And I just changed it up a bit to make it a bit more show accurate. Here's the head. And I think if they had done solid orange hair, it would have looked a bit better. And then we'll just hold them up together. And then here's a comparison with another type. And these ones had a different head, like a more cobra style. Yeah. Now is the wave amulet, which I think is really nice. Um, we got the storm amulet from before. And it's a purple one. And yeah, so there's the head of Rogera. I'll show it from both sides. Head of Rogera. And then some like swirl patterns. And it's a bit glitter, which the season 14 storm amulet didn't have. Is the storm amulet from the island wave. Oh, I shouldn't be calling it season 14 because it isn't. Season 14 is sea bound, which was officially revealed. And this didn't have glitter, but in the Temple of the Infinite Sea, this one did have glitter, but it doesn't make a big difference. So here's both amulets, which I think look really nice. Although in the show, like, the front is this way around. Yeah, now let's move on to the main build, which I think is really nice. Uh, they've been doing those big bulky mechs for, you know, I think they've done it four, five, or even maybe six times now. Starting with Lloyd's Titan mech, which I do have. And then I th I guess the Golden mech was similar, and then uh, a couple of others. But I really like that. 
and they were like around 60 pounds but i really like how they've done a different one um and it's really nice it's really unique this one and i i like how it's not one of those big bulky ones it's just a, like a different small one so it looks like it gives me a feel of like a salvaged um sub or a, like some underwater vehicle this looks like um yeah, i'll just adjust my camera it's like a searchlight here and then there's this shoulder pad which looks like like the hull of a boat or something and then here's lloyd's l and then there's this like really cool um claw arm there's no like rubber band feature but you can just open and close it and it just it has this written on it and then like a caution symbol there and it's yellow really nice then for the other arm i'll just remove this sword there's another pad here it's a different one this is what it looks like then there's this arm and you can see it's a ball joint here and then there's mini ball joints in there it's a bit hard to see and then there's a like ratchet here so you can just move it like that same for here and then this just has like a hand design like a stubby hand a thumb here which you can't really move it you can only move it like that and then the fingers but i think it's really nice and then there's just a clip for the sword the massive mech katana and i'll show that in just a bit so then this is the front of the mech really nice and they use one of these pieces which they use throughout the whole seabound theme and it was also used for cold's boulder blaster uh earlier this year at the start of this year for ninjago and then it just opens up like this and here's the cockpit i'll put lloyd in there in a bit although the cockpit it's a bit weird because the character doesn't go really well in there so that i think they could have done a bit better on the cockpit but you can just close it up like that and then there's this tube and it goes around to the back and I think this is sort of like an oxygen tank, because in the show, like, Lloyd was in there, but he was in his season 11, uh, gi. Which, I mean, I think they could have done the C-ban gi if they wanted to. I mean, why are they doing the season 11 one? But I think this is supposed to be like an oxygen tank and then a tube and everything. There's no controls in here on any anything, though. And then the legs and these like bits. So as for the legs, there's no knee joints, but you can move the foot around in these two like sort of toes, I guess you would call them. And then here's the inside, here's the outside. I think they could have done a bit better on this, make it look a bit nice, but then this bit is always covering it, so yeah and then the front i think is really nice and i really like the colors of this mech as well dark green and this green a bit of gray black gold yellow yeah and then there's just these bits covering them like this and then the same for the other side goes it's a really cool mech i'll throw the sword now I'm just saying this is a back view doesn't look bad I think it looks quite fine just move that a bit straighter then this is the sword a simple build tassel at the end we've seen a lot of mech swords and then it just goes in here and then you can just close the fingers around it and you can get really good posability out of this mech, which I think is really nice. And I'll just put Lloyd in here now, which I realised I forgot to do in the um, Lloyd's quad bike for season 14. It's not the best, you can't really put it in the brown area, which I think is a bit annoying. But you sort of just have to like push him in there 
and do it like that. And he fits pretty well in there. Um, and that brown bit can easily be modified somehow, like by being raised up. So you just have to put him in there and then cover this round. It looks really nice from the outside. And then you can get really good poses like this. Or you could get like a sort of swimming pose, which I really like. Like it's like gliding across the waters. Like this. So I think it's really good and really good for kids. So they have a lot of options to move this around. And you can use the claws to grab a minifig. For example, this guy here, the Mari guard. Just put him in there. You can close the claws and he's stuck in there. And if you wanted to, you could also put something else in there. Like say the storm amulet. Just put it in there. Ah, the fingers do fall off sometimes. Because it's not the most strongest thing. But you can just hold it like that. And sometimes, with I think literally all the time, it, you can't like slot the saw just like as a belt. Like sort of samurai style. But I just found a way because there's a gap because of the tube. And you can just slide the sword in there. Which I think is really nice. And it looks really cool. And it's sort of also like with that salvaged feel it also feels sort of like a samurai with the like heavy armor and stuff and that you can just slot the sword in there and then here's a searchlight so i think a really nice set it's about 20 pounds i think really good price for it and yeah i'll be doing more reviews and see you next time bye